Welcome to the demo and the Watercolor Fanatic channel. In this one, I'm going to paint a loose seascape. So this is a 11 by 15 paper, 140 pound cold press. Uh, as you can probably see there, no drawing, just sort of winging it. Uh, in this particular painting, I'm starting with the sky, obviously. And then I'll just go directly into the water. The sky was cerulean blue, a little bit of yellow ochre, and lots of water. And then for the uh, water, I'm doing a little bit of ultramarine, a little bit of uh, cerulean blue, or cobalt blue, rather. And a touch of neutrals and some tans in there as well. It's important to let this first layer dry completely. It's also important to leave plenty of white space for future boats. I'm not, again, like completely planning everything out. The only thing I really had in mind was that dock on the left hand side and this boat that I'm doing now. I know that I wanted those to sort of anchor the painting as a point of interest and that's it. So now it's about, you know, adding light and shadow. So this second layer is, you know, basically looking at the first wash, uh, trying to extract some good qualities find those areas where there'll be boats and things like that. And uh, a little bit of negative space painting like I'm doing now. So there's a distant uh, land mass there. Uh, so I'm just going around that nice and loose with a pointed round and leaving you no know, gaps here and there uh, that could be homes and things like that. I've got that little uh, brownish area on the right hand side, good lead in for the painting, making that into a little floating dock and here I'm using a, a dagger, a small dagger brush there to add some detail, some darker shadows uh, into the pylons. Uh, here I'm adding some vertical interest. There's like a little hook and things like that on these docks that sort of pull the catch up onto the dock. And, you know, it's at this point, it's easy to overpaint things. So I'm just kind of balancing out, you know, the... A visual interest of like, you know, is there enough detail there to make it interesting and then enough abstract qualities to keep that nice, loose, carefree feel. So here you can see I'm adding masts, different things to the boats in the background and just keeping it loose and free. That That's the key when you're painting loose. If you try to describe every square inch of the painting, uh, then you end up with a really fussy mess. Uh, you know, watercolor is forgiving. As you can see right there, I wet that area with just some clean water and came back and rubbed it out. That's perfectly fine. A lot of artists, I think, well, if they have to do that, they think, oh, well, this painting's ruined. But if you got good paper, uh, I'm using Fabriano Artistico, which is a, a decent artist grade paper. Um, you should be able to blot that out with some water and don't rub it, the paper back and forth. Just simply take a paper towel or a rag and just press into the paper and then that's going to remove the paint without doing too much damage. Here just adding some dots, uh, different things, some highlights uh, using uh, titanium white that's flat uh, or matte heavy body acrylics and just a few details, a little shadow there or reflection on the boat in the foreground and that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the demo if you want to learn more. There are a lot of tutorials on my website, watercolorfanatic.com. Thanks for watching.